Hi, this is Bala from GUI. Right now, we are going to see the skills that a front-end web developer should possess to excel in his job. Uh, there are two set of skills, okay? One is core skills and second is complementary skills. So what does core skills mean? These are the mandatory skills any front-end web developer should possess to do his basic job, okay? So there are three things that usually be covered in this part. Here it is. Uh, one is HTML, second is CSS, and the third one is JavaScript. Uh, let's take a closer look. HTML5, that is a recent version of HTML, okay? So what is the major addition to the recent version is, uh, the HTML5 version from the HTML4 is, uh, there are semantic tags that has been added as part of this release. So tags like header, aside, footer, okay? So these are some of the uh, tags and attributes has been added and uh, many attributes and uh, there are HTML APIs has been introduced as part of the HTML5 which really help you to solve the issues or achieve the functionalities that's earlier not, not at all possible with just HTML. For example, like local storage, web workers, these are some of the uh, key value additions in HTML5. Okay. So next comes the CSS part. Any markup has to be styled in order to be presented as a uh, colorful or meaningful uh, web page. Okay. And CSS plays a major role in that. And uh, as part of that, the recent version is CSS3, which helps you to overcome the uh, latest, I mean, which helps you to use effectively the CSS code, uh, avoiding the usage of images to just for styling part. Obviously, using the images uh, loads your page or keeps your, makes your page heavy, but CSS3 helps you to avoid that and use it effectively. And next comes the responsive web design. Obviously, that's a hot topic because mobile first is a recent trend that's been going on in any web development. Okay, uh, for example, uh, there are there are not a single viewport as of now, right? So we view our web pages in uh, laptop browser and then go to a mobile browser and then say in tablet browsers. So obviously, the web page should uh, behave accordingly due to to the different viewports. And responsive web design is a technique. It's a it's a it's an approach that helps you to achieve that. Okay. So next comes the CSS frameworks. Right now, uh, the people who are actually handcrafting the CSS is very less. People just go for the frameworks like Bootstrap or Foundation, which helps them to uh, quickly start a project or quickly uh, deliver the out output. Okay. So what it does is it basically gives you the um, uh, ready-made things that helps you to solve the uh, solve your day-to-day -day functionalities or project requirements okay rather than rather than writing the code from the scratch okay uh, that's uh, obviously you should pick up one of the framework and go ahead with it and next comes the javascript so he is a hero right now in and it's the most popular programming language uh, because the earlier the the assumption was javascript is mainly used for client side uh, dom interaction or form field validations but things have changed uh, right now javascript is heavily used in server side and it has become a full full stack language okay so meaning uh, you can still do dom validations using javascript and the libraries like jquery using the libraries like jquery and so on and also in the back side like uh, node.js so which is which is helpful for the web developers to become a to have a holistic view of the web application and to become a full stack developer okay so next comes the complementary skills so these are the skills which will help you to actually ease your work or help you to become more productive, okay? Uh, for example, this uh, GitHub, right? So uh, at least you should have any version, you should be able to work on any version control system where which where you are able to clone a repository, push, pull, uh, create branches and merge them, okay? This helps you to be uh, work as an indie standalone developer where you can actually just take on your piece of work and work on your part and deliver it and move on, okay? So next comes the browser developer tools. This comes very handy during the project, okay? For example, when you start development on your HTML or CSS JavaScript, right? Uh, the amount of time you spend writing the actual code is very less when compared to the time you spend actually debugging it or fixing it in the browser. And the tools like uh, Firebug, Chrome Dev Tools comes very handy to solve these issues because they give the instant result and you're able to see how things actually work in the browser, how things are being, um, rendered in the browser okay so yeah that's uh, those are that, those tools you should be obviously learning and next is the web performance uh, there are people who can who, there are a lot of people who can write the basic html as javascript code but uh, knowing how to use it for better performance is the key for you to differentiate you as a 
star program star developer when compared to the other person okay so obviously you should be knowing the techniques like minification ossification and uh, use when to use what okay so when to use the javascript how to where to use the, invoke the javascript files or when to use priority images so these are some of the things which you should be understanding so that you can improve the performance of your web pages okay and uh, obviously the tools like network profiling helps you a lot in terms of tuning your web page to give the optimal performance okay so yeah you should be obviously learning it and next comes the restful services uh, restful services you need not write it but you should be knowing how to invoke it uh, and how to use it because uh, in the recent times all the back end developers produce the uh, gives the uh, data to the front end in terms of using restful apis and obviously you should be knowing how to use it so that you, it becomes easy for you to understand how things work from the back end okay and uh, then comes the request methods so the request methods are basically important for you to understand when how to send the data and how to actually uh, interpret it for example when to use get when to use post so these things will help you to understand how the data exchange happens and how how the data has been transferred and uh, when it helps you to basically take a call about when you have to use get and when you have to post and some of the other methods okay uh, next comes the http status codes basically these are these status codes are uh, will give you an overview about how things are, what are things are happening right now for example uh, when you reset 404 what does it mean or when you receive the other status codes whether the request has been sent to the server or whether the response has been received so these help things helps you a lot and basically when you use ajax you will be able to easily use this differentiate the status codes okay and it helps you it, it, it comes by handy okay and yeah these are the basic top basic skills which a web developer should acquire okay thank you